the new auto crafter will completely change technical Minecraft. There's no doubt about that. It opens up an entire new field of redstoning and it makes storage systems possible that could only be dreamed of before. Many people call it the new holy grail, a storage crafting system that stores all ingredients and can craft every single item. I haven't seen any concrete plans on how to achieve this yet, but I want to go even further. People have built computers in Minecraft for a long time, but until now they haven't been really used in survival, because of their massive size and lack of purpose for survival. So here is my vision on how to make a redstone computer that overhauls storage systems so you never have to search for items or craft them yourself again. For decades, storage systems have used a similar approach, with one or several big storage halls and maybe some bulk storage. What I'd like to create is one control room where you can insert items, request items and see a bunch of information regarding your storage and farms. The input for this would use my button matrix to have a lot of inputs close to each other, like a keyboard, numpad and a bunch more buttons that represent often used items, or custom filled chokers you can request items by either pushing their button, inserting the ID or typing the name. Then you can select how many items you want and the computer will check if they are available or if they need to be crafted. If you don't have enough ingredients, the system will tell you what you need and even start farms if possible. When everything is there, it will just send it to start crafting or smelting, displaying the estimated time it will take to craft everything. To send items over large distances, instant dropper lines can be used. By putting the items in shulkers, you can send 2.5 shulkers a second with just one dropper line. There's over 4000 items. You can control these instant dropper lines very precisely to send the shulker to a specific location on the dropper line. This enables us to make a big bulk storage where each slice saves one type of item. Then we can set shulkers from the storage elsewhere and back to the exact same slice where it came from. To select a specific slice of the storage a binary decoder will be used. This can take a binary number as input and then send a signal to the corresponding slice. And that's where the computer comes in. There's a lot of information that needs to be saved, read and changed to make a system like this work. We need to save where items are located, how many of them there are, and for the crafting system we need to save the recipe. Because crafters that craft just one type of item doesn't make sense here. I want to build one crafting system that can craft every item by inserting the items in the right order. Then there are several crafting stations for recipes with different shapes. There's already a lot of information needed to craft items. I will use music disc to store this information, because each music disc will give out different signal strength when put inside a jukebox. That means by putting a bunch of music disc in a shulker you can essentially store a lot of numbers in a shulker box. I've used this to make a map printer that stores more than 8 kilobytes of data to print an entire map. There's just one problem. Only 12 of the 15 music discs can be farmed. So I have to make the system work with just 12 discs. But I don't think this will be an issue, since instead of the hexadecimal system, I can use the decimal system, which then leaves 3 discs that can be assigned to functions like start of instructions and end of instructions. To store all these shulkers with music disc, we can use a system similar to the item storage. Using the binary decoder and instant dropper lines to call the shulkers from the slice, read them and then put them back where they came from. I've made a 16 kilobyte RAM module using this method so I know that it works. The most important part of this system will be the CPU. It will actually take the input from the control room, then read the information and instructions from the data storage, send signals to retrieve or save items, calculate the total number of items needed, calculate if there are enough items to fulfill a request, calculate the time needed to craft them and it even allows us to introduce complex programs like an account system so you could keep track of which player took which item and how many, limit the amount of items for certain players so no valuable items are wasted or even introduce a shop system. The possibilities are endless. This will be the hardest part of the project since I've never built a CPU before. So, if you have some experience doing that and you want to help me, join my Discord. Also, if you've got ideas to improve the system, 
or you know of existing builds that would be helpful, let me know in the comments. This will be a gigantic project, but if I can actually make this work, it would be incredible to have such a system on a server. What do you think? Will I be able to do this or have I finally lost my mind? This is the first time I made a video just sharing my ideas for a project without having a working prototype. Let me know if I should do more updates like this or if you would rather wait for months without a video till I can show a finished project. If this project interests you, go subscribe and go watch this video to see how powerful storing data with music disk is. Thanks for watching and bye!